Guitar gear technology is constantly changing as you probably know well by now. In this particular video, I wanted to kind of demonstrate and maybe, uh, you know, as a test of myself even, see if I can take the exact same analog gear, the exact same physical gear, and compare it to the digital representation of that. And for this particular test, I'm gonna use IK Multimedia because I happen to have a plugin using the Pinnacle. I thought it was a good opportunity to take a plugin that I really like a lot. I think they've done really well with it, with uh, the, their digital representations of analog gear, and uh, just kind of see what they sound like together. So for this particular setting, this is a kind of a low gain setting. I have the switch off, the boost switch off, so it's not a super high gain, uh, but I really like the lower overdrive settings of this particular pedal. It should probably be mentioned here that I'm actually using the impulse responses that are built within the IK Multimedia software, just so I have complete like continuity of uh, you know the the mic sound from the amp from comp comparing the amp to the actual software. So I'm not miking that amp. I'm just using the impulse responses that's built into the software. So all right, with that in mind, let's head back to the video. <laughs> My clean tone, however, So nice, clean, crispy tone on the amp itself. Again, let's turn the pedal on. So that's the analog version of everything, right? So let's take the same sort of setup, but in digital, and try it on that. See what it sounds like comparatively. <laughs> So what's your overall thoughts on the two different tones? Me personally, I felt sort of like the digital version was really close, but there was like this crispness that was missing. I had to actually adjust the treble up a little bit on the amp, trying to get that, and I still didn't actually really get there. Uh, another thing that I noticed was even though the pedal had pretty much the same sounds, the response was a little bit different, and some of that could have to do with the actual chain I'm going through. I'm going into a mixer, an uh, EQ set flat, but of course we do have gains in that mixer. So maybe I wasn't hitting the front of that pedal enough. Maybe everything involved with the chain of the recording process just didn't uh, equate to the exact same thing in the analog world. But I think that's to be expected. And to be really honest with you, it's so damn close, I don't think I'd really worry that much about it. 
a lot of that stuff can be massaged into uh, you know to the editing process of the actual recording. So I would love to hear your thoughts on it though. Make sure you comment below and we'll see you next time with a new video.